Mm-hmm. Vienna is corrupted by Russian Russian uh, interest when it comes to investment into into uh, property. You know, isn't everywhere? Yeah, that's the truth. You know, like they 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 really embrace the international criminality. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's, I think that was like the new, the reboot of the Internationale. <laughs> the Internationale Crime Consortium. Yeah. 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 We are all brothers in stealing shit. You're all equally corrupt. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there are no good guys anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Life is over and not even propaganda tries to like touch it up anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like propaganda is like, no, we are evil. Yeah. And that's good. All <laughs> animals are corrupt and some are more corrupt than others. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me on, Paul. Yes. This is episode one of Paul's Palava Paradise. Uh, that yes. is a, a, a suitably Paul name for a show. Like Thank that. you. Thank you. I was, I was thinking the same and it still has enough mass appeal where i can you know pitch it to like netflix yes, in, like yes, exactly. in like 300 episodes <laughs> that's my dream is you know like s- securing a bundle mm. from from a platform i know is gonna die in three years <laughs> because not wh- whatever i put on there it's gonna get purged yeah yeah, yeah. and i love that f- concept because i can just put up any bullshit have you been like contacted by streaming services before i haven't yet no I've, i mean i've done some online stuff for like the bbc and things like that and luckily because and that the is bbc is the furthest away from a streaming yeah, service exa- exa- exactly exactly it's, even it's, the austrians are like you are far behind bro yeah dude it's, it's, it's like an antique uh, way of yeah. broadcasting but I've, I've done some stuff on there um, and still a guy on a crank yeah yeah, yeah you know, exactly, like, exactly powering the, yeah, the yeah, radio it's not attached to anything they yeah. still have that position and they have to hire a person it's, for it that works unionized man yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> good luck getting rid of that guy <laughs> crank guy is the best yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he shows up on time he cranks out his work and then he leaves it's 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 the perfect you know metaphor for the bbc <laughs> that is exactly yeah, yeah. Although <laughs> and, I, and, and also somehow he's a game show host yeah <laughs> <laughs> I do think though I do think if we did if like if we could get like a series onto Netflix or something like that yeah. where it was like t- to focusing on comedy in Europe because I think that I think that's very interesting like the fact yes. that there is such a demand here for it I say this to everyone all the time and that much of a richer tapestry yeah yeah like yeah. I I get why uh comedy is so diverse in the states mm-hmm. because it is literally for some people the only escape out of poverty yeah yeah and in all, in Europe that poverty to a certain degree has been removed mm. that that incentive yep but we still have enough uh, marginalized groups that those still like go for the arts oh yeah definitely yeah. like like arts uh, the arts is one of those is one of those or things you're, that oh you're a depressive sack of shit like me or you <laughs> exactly or you're just a, Dude, a, a, that's the flip side of the coin yeah. is just a white guy yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> you're, you're either a marginalized group who's seeking you know to try and like get their experience across in a funny way yeah or you're a sad white guy <laughs> yeah exactly exactly who's trying to be an ally but yeah, exactly exactly but when it p- push comes to shove that 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 income tax is not gonna get raised over fifty thousand euros <laughs> yeah man no i mean we, i was actually talking Flat to tax for life <laughs> i was actually talking to a guy we just finished uh the tour making austria laugh uh which i think is a bit of a misnomer mm-hmm. uh, what that tour should have been called is make austrians smile and nod that's really what the tour should have been called <laughs> um but we just finished that and we were talking to a venezuelan guy at the gig last night mm-hmm. and he said that there's a couple of uh, comedians from venezuela and obviously that country is in a shit oh, show at the oh moment. They, yeah they, they have they haven't had a good turn in no. like 250 years no they have not <laughs> and, and so a bunch of them have gone to america because like you said that's the melting pot that's where people go to try yeah. and you know to try and make it um but i think here in europe you know especially when you compare it to back home in the uk for example like the scene here is so diverse yeah that, like there's people from literally everywhere and what 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 do you say? Like all walks of life, right? Yes, yes, exactly. It's an old stereotype and everything, but in this case, it actually makes sense. Yes, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, we are we are very fortunate. Yeah, very fortunate. It's great that uh, our governments are so shite <laughs> with integrating <laughs> other other cultures <laughs> <laughs> that we get the benefits. Of yeah, it. exactly. Again, exactly. the white guy yes, profits. We are on top. We <laughs> yeah. are on top. We have been for Number two thousand one. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Six thousand years running. Let's keep that. Let's keep this going. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Oh yeah, we should also say this is a very loose new format, guys. If you like it, obviously please leave a comment and tell me what I can improve or do better the next time. Yeah. Uh, like, share. <laughs> I hate that so much. Yes, yes. I hate a, it so much. I, I'm forcing Tamas to do it because I don't want to play that stereotype, but he is a Jewish shill. <laughs> I don't want to play that stereotype, but I'm just going to say it outright. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I totally get it. And it's, it's, I, I, I just want to have, because I feel that f that's missing in the European scene is a cerebral video cast mm -hmm. where it's just a one on one. Yeah. Yeah. Because most of the time, and I, I don't want to dig at your podcast because it's amazing. Make Europe grants again. Making Europe. Making. Sorry. I'm making Europe yeah, grants again. I'm <laughs> Great host. <laughs> I love to he's, that. He's Literally, I research. said I'm a great host when the time was at 9-11. <laughs> he's done his research, ladies and gentlemen. Paul has actually been on I'm my podcast. Twice. <laughs> twice. I was twice on it. And I loved it every time. And it's amazing. No, but seriously, subscribe to his shit. It's obviously in the description down yes, below. Yes, yes. But uh, what I have to say, it is somewhat limiting in what you can talk with one comedian when you have five on. Mm-hmm. Except if you do a five-hour podcast and you're Joe Rogan on meth. Yes, yes. By the way, that would be amazing. I would Just for one season of the Joe Rogan podcast, he switches away from the brain fucking pills to meth. I swear Just to straight up meth Rogan would be interesting. I he just tears the legs and <laughs> arms away from like... <laughs> what's his assistant again? Oh, that's Name? A, uh... The pull it up, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He just rips his arm up, arm up because he pull, didn't pull it up in 30 <laughs> seconds or less. You know, I would, I, I would watch that. I mean, I, I swear to God, right, for the amount of times that he goes on, on about it, I would love to see an episode of the Joe Rogan podcast where he does it on DMT. Like just, that would just, be amazing. Just to see, just as that then, would be amazing. Because yeah. like he's talked about it so much. Yes. So I would pay. Yes, it's like good a, money. it's like a tease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a, like a, like a what three thousand episode tease. Yes. Now? I want to see. I want to. I want to, to turn on my YouTube. See him there with pupils this big, oh. just like staring off into the middle distance. I mean, his pupils are already that. Big, yeah, exactly. But, I mean, exactly. Joe Rogan is. I, I've never seen somebody who looks that close to a jacked potato. Yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> he really does. Like he, the man is all neck, you know. <laughs> it's insane. I mean, honestly, that f I, I I I totally see him uh, because I, I I watched his like one of his first appearances was on um, uh, news radio. Yes, yeah. and and he was a normal dude with hair loss. I was like, I can totally, I can totally identify with this person. Yeah, yeah. And he also because he's like he has a is an Ita full Italian in that one, but I have Italian heritage in a foreign country. Like I, I, I with Joe, I like identified the most. Yeah. And now, like it's 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 like a like a like a what is it those uh, season one season ten comparisons? Yes, yes, yes. Of like anime stuff <laughs> where like you have Son Goku first, and now it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Son Super Go Saiyan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's the same thing. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, w once once you once you lose your hair, once you start looking right, like this, yes. right? Because this is like a this is like a before and after picture. Oh you know, yeah, like, yeah. Like, no, like, no, I have maybe four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has been severe in the last three years. Yeah, dude, it's, it, it's it's it it ramps it, up. Get, it's exponential. Like, yeah, I, I when I was nineteen, I, I I looked a bit like yourself. Yeah, and then by the time I was twenty one, it was it was oh, back you, here. Uh, wow. Yeah, I was. You, you went full Phil Collins. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, you went yeah, full yeah, Phil yeah. Collins. I was actually full Collins. Yeah, I was as actually, I call it. I was actually walking through. I was walking through, so I was starting to lose my hair a little bit, and I tried to do different like styles and stuff to try and like keep it keep it looking good. And I was walking through Glasgow Central Station one day, and I saw those guys who tried to get you to sign up to credit cards. You know, mm -hmm. and he he it was the, it's the worst haircut I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, his, his, his hairline was honest to god back all the way back here like on the back of his head okay and what he had done is he had tried to like spike it forward like oh, that wow. to make it look like he had like hair. like leningrad cowboys yes yes but with hair loss yes oh my god that's I, amazing I, though. I, I saw that and on that day i walked out of the station and into the chemist to the pharmacy for yeah. americans and i bought the hair trimmers i was like i am not ending up like that dude but when you lose your hair you've basically got three options right yeah you either grow a massive beard yeah right? you can become the beard yes guy, yes or you become the working out guy 
True. Yeah, if you're jacked like Albert, yeah, uh, Roland. Uh, sorry, yeah. If if you don't know Roland, but he's he's the epitome of a midlife crisis doing too much P90X. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's that's that still sells. Beard, yeah. jacked, or head tattoos. That seems to be the only. That seems to be the only route you can go. Rich. Yeah. I would I would po- put forth the fourth option. Rich. Yes. If you can, like, do that real new hair transplant shit. Oh. That stuff looks amazing, but it's like 20,000 per treatment, it's and you have to do it like, what, three or four times? And not only that, that's like one of those things where it's, 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 it's still relatively new. Yeah. So if, I think people who get them now, fair enough, yeah. but it looks garbage. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. Like it, Except if you drop down like some serious yeah, kind. Yeah. But if you get like that baby DNA, you know, hair. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. Dude, <laughs> no, no, no. Looks like the first day, bro. I, so I'm so I have I have joined a gym. I wish, by the way, sorry, but I wish like there was like a, a like a like a mix up once with the hair. Forty slides, you know, of like brown hair, mm. and then it's like twenty that are blonde <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> And you just have that permanent like nineties yeah, yeah, thing yeah, going on. It's like the, the little blonde tips. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be great. Like that would be funny. Yeah, yeah, because you were doing it in Mexico or something yeah. like that. And they're like, it's cheaper, but also there's like an eighty percent chance you yeah. don't get all the hair correctly. Well, that's like that's like most of the, so most of the, a lot of the girls that I knew from school and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm from Scotland, so this probably explains why. But um, they went abroad for like uh, for different plastic surgeries, whether it be like lip fillers or face face stuff or getting right. their, their boobs and their butt done. They always go to turkey and uh, it seems to be a real huh. co- coin toss that one because some of them <laughs> like like some of them come back and it looks good and yeah some of them come back and it does not look good you know like so <laughs> more often you went you paid for an accident yeah 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 yeah, yeah. You, you, so, you paid for a car crash so i honestly think even if i had the money nowadays i don't think i would get a hair transplant i really don't when i first lost yeah. my hair i really cared i about mean it. you are also one of those people who can pull off bald i thank you very much paul that that that, that means no, a lot it's, to me. it's, also you have eyebrows eyebrows that are distinctive yeah <laughs> If you didn't have those, it, like those, those are the poorest men. Yeah, are the ones yeah. with the thin eyebrows and no hair. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like God is double punishing yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, It's just the world's biggest forehead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it runs all the way down. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like those are the only guys where I'm like, okay, we should put it into law that those people should just get a toupee on like a recipe from the doctor. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. He, he prescription for to pay. You yeah. know, you don't have to pay anything. You just you get a you get it here. My dad, my dad, he lost yeah. his hair at the same age as me. So this is obviously ah, it's like, a genetic it's, it's thing. A genetic yeah. thing. Mm. But he wore a to pay for many years. He wore a to pay. <sighs> And a good one or yeah, it was good it was, okay. it was a good yeah. one he like he paid some serious money for it he had to go yeah. to a specific hairdresser because nothing is worse than a bad yes. toupee like, but he had to go to a specific hairdresser and they would like style because oh, he had hair wow. around here okay. so they had to style that to make it look like it was ah, part of it and stuff like that nice blending it in yeah yeah Um, but it was it was he it obviously like it, it really does get to you when you start losing your hair as I'm sure yeah. you know oh yeah when, when it starts to happen you're like fuck like as, uh-huh. a, as a man it's been three years now and yeah. the, uh, the process hasn't been gradual no 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 it's like every time i look in the mirror i'm like wait this hair here is way further down than all the other hairs yeah. and that wasn't that way before yeah, yeah why are you single now yeah yeah you know <laughs> but i mean my dad it was it was so limiting for him he would get up every day at like yeah way, way early in the morning to make sure his toupee was on i only ever saw him without his toupee like at night if i uh, if he was like going Did to the bathroom or something off? Um, no, like if he was out and about, he wouldn't take it off. And like, so we would go on holiday. No, no, on accident. Oh, no, 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 no. Because that shit's hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> but Especially would, if it's your dad, right? Yeah, he would go in the swimming pool and like, he would, he, he, would, he, would, he would stand in like the kids bit. <laughs> He's the waste guy. And as He's soon as, guy, as soon as people amazing. started splashing, he would get the fuck out of the pool. Oh, you know, he's like n- taking no chances. So yeah. I, I seen that and I thought, I mean, that's like, taking, I'm, never, I'm never doing that. I'm just going to invest in hats. That's like, I mean, that's also serious balls just going into the water yeah, with yeah. river to pay that's like 1990 and you take your motorola smart not smartphone motor, motorola <laughs> mobile <laughs> your, phone your razor flip phone yeah yeah you're into the pool <laughs> like like this it's like because those were those guys existed that like had a phone call in the early 2000s in a pool yeah. and every time i'm like dude has money yeah 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 he has to have either the just confidence man yeah or just money up the ass because that's an 800 euro phone yeah if you drop that your your contract is not be like oh yeah we got you get a replacement yeah, yeah, phone. yeah. no chance <laughs> yeah no yeah. chance water damage that's your fault yeah 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 no i mean 
My, I remember my, I remember, funnily enough, this is just going to be a podcast, going to be just a bunch of stories about Grant's dad. But I remember my dad when he got, he got his first mobile phone for his work. Mm -hmm. And it was literally like this big. You know, okay. it was huge, and it had had to have an antenna that you would pull. Oh out. yeah, yeah, yeah. My first one also was pull, yeah. still pull out. It was ridiculous. This thing, man. <laughs> it was like you could you could have built houses with this thing. Did he have the waistband like attachment? Oh no, he never had to. Okay, dude, they would have pulled him over. He always, he's, <laughs> a, he's only five foot three. You know. <laughs> <laughs> he's not very he's very top heavy yeah it would have been like weight training every day you know <laughs> lugging around this huge phone <laughs> but no you're right like it's, it's good to have like a, a podcast where you can you can like talk like this because on, on yeah. my one as you know it's, it's about politics and stuff we've each we've got a few usually three guests and you yeah. have to try and get through and everybody. it's great it's yeah great. No, it's, it's good fun yeah but it's it's good to be able to just sit down and have like a, a chin yeah. work, you know because also i found it was an appropriate time because this is literally our rebrief moment mm. in a very divisive time yeah like we had just the biggest outbreak of a disease in again a hundred years yeah yeah and 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 the arts have been at least in austria severely neglected oh yeah and i'm not even talking about myself mm -hmm. i'm just talking about who people who full-time that friends of mine yeah that oh. work full-time in the comedy scene make their living with it and then the, the the balance out check came for most of them and it's like maybe a tenth of yeah. what they would have made oh yeah. yeah and most of them sat on their losses when it came to advertisement and all that shit. Yeah. Most of them had already campaigns planned out. You probably also got fucked. Did I I had I had <laughs> I had planned like everybody everybody has a horror story now. Yeah. We yeah. we we are we are very we are very fortunate but also very because it's material. Yes, yeah. That's yeah. the only thing we had we had like the cockroaches of the art scene yeah we're like oh this is a disaster well let's recycle it into yeah. a joke <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. i lost a leg wow that's like an hour yeah that's yeah. an uh, that's a full netflix special Did hour is just about my lost leg there's literally a thing at edinburgh where it's like the it's become typecast now that comedians do a dead dad show you know like like when their when their father dies they make an hour-long special about it and they right. ca it's called the dd show the dead dad show <laughs> uh, there's, there's, there's a prize given out oh i can't year. do that for another 30 years my dad is way too healthy yeah well there you go my dad is scottish so i'll, I'll probably have to give him a call at the, yeah, end yeah, yeah, at the end of this he's already above <laughs> his like the average yeah, yeah. he's already miles ahead yeah yeah yeah, dude. yeah 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 um but no like i mean i was i was supposed to go on tour right i was going to start in sofia and bulgaria and finish mm. in barcelona and spain over the course of three weeks right. and that was going to be in the second week in april ha ha yeah ha. nothing nada yeah, no silch luckily i hadn't i hadn't booked all of it but i booked the first couple of like travels and places to stay so that and just in and of itself was like a grand that you're down but i've got friends back in the uk and they haven't had any comedy work for like months months and months yeah. and months and right. The clubs are closing down. They, they, the government passed a arts package, which was like about a billion pounds. If you compare that, <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> For the entirety of the UK, if you compare That's, that to like other countries, I don't know how much it was in Austria, but more per yeah. capita, definitely more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in Germany, I mean, it was it's something, still nothing, but more. In Germany, it was something like thirty, uh, thirty uh, billion euros. In yeah. Spain, it was like twenty something. Yeah. You know, these and the UK is constantly telling itself we are like. You know, the home of Shakespeare. We do great theater. We do yeah, great yeah, yeah. movies, yeah, I mean, comedy. The same, we do everything. the same thing with yeah. Mozart and Beethoven yeah. and all that yeah. shit. We do the same thing. Yeah. But then when it when but it, it's lip service. Yeah. Mostly. When it when it comes down to it, it's like fuck. If you're not doing something that's like making a contribution to society, like STEM STEM subjects or something like yeah, that, yeah. the arts go fuck yourself. Yeah. It's like for, and for, even for, stems is getting fucked over. Yeah. Well, that's I mean, the worst thing. It's a it's it's like a it's like a it's like a shit list. Yeah. And even if you're on top of the shit list, there's still a person shitting on you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's, it's actually quite funny. Um, I can't remember what comedian says it, but they, they've got a great joke where they say, for years and years and years, maybe like 10 years, 15 years. And I remember this when I was at school. Mm -hmm. They were like, fuck the humanities, go and study STEM. You know, like right. like science, engineering, math, go and yeah, study. Yeah. Fuck the humanities. And then we're like 15 years into fuck the humanities, our democracy is imploding around us. And people are like, why is this happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are the people who have thoughtful thoughts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are the, where are the people who think about we why this? We barely have people that have thoughts. Yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. 
it's 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 it, and also i think we because we are i mean that's also interesting i think in europe at least a lot of the comedians have a, a scientific background oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's 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 crazy like in austria we have one guy who ha literally has a phd in organic chemistry yeah like certified Certified, certified genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, I'm doing jig jokes now. You yeah, know, like, yeah. well, I mean, there's <laughs> because, because literally, if I want to like work in the field and do original research, there's two options. Either I get, I already am in the university system and I get a professor, like, uh, like a tenured seat, mm -hmm. or a company wants to do original research and hires me. Yeah. Both of those. No, yeah. as a foreigner, especially yeah. even yeah. if you're an EU citizen, and and they they they've talked, they've talked, they've talked about like, oh, we're gonna invest a billion euros in our in, in our universities in three years. Then they did it, and oh no, it's a billion in five years. Oh, it's a billion in ten years. Yeah. And then if you calculate for inf inflation, it's actually less money. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, you motherfuckers. Well, dude, it's the same. You are literally ruining what makes. Austria and Europe great is that we had I don't I, I don't know for uh, I guess Britain always was like exempt from that because you really got fucked over by Thatcher. Yeah. yeah. You got it 30 years earlier than we Yes, did. yeah, yeah. Because we now have the neoliberals basically yep. in power. Yeah. Because our Christian Democrats are not Christian Democrats anymore. Like those had values. Yeah. Christian Democrats in the 60s and 70s were assholes, but they had values. Yep. Like my my a uh, great uncle was the mayor of a small town in Upper Austria. Upper Austria, you know, birthplace of Hitler. Yep, yep, yep. Still number one when it comes to uh, per capita hate crimes against Jews. Jesus. In in Austria, like in if you distinct between the different uh, counties in Austria. Yeah, yeah. Upper Austria is still number one. Okay. Yeah. They, they are still. I mean, you know. Go Upper Austria. Yeah. yeah no. No. <laughs> <laughs> also, they, they are not getting really fucked with because it's uh, the, the the industrial heartland. Yeah, yeah. We we do the uh, lints with all the steel there and all that stuff. The ton of car industry stuff. You know, they they, they generate a ton of export. So uh, push it a little bit to the side. You yeah, know, yeah. We we we, we, with do we do some stuff, but not as aggressively as we should against yeah, yeah. those those things because we don't want to have like a news headline and stuff like that where like 200 Nazis got arrested today in Austria, you know? Yeah. Because they could do that like this yep. right now. They, they have the names, they have the people. They're just not doing it because it's politically, it's not a good headline internationally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was in the Second World War, my uncle, my great uncle. Mm -hmm. He got his leg shot off in, luckily, he got his leg shot off at the beginning of Operation Barbarossa. Oh, okay. The invasion of for all the <laughs> Gen Zs out there, yeah, yeah the non non military. So the history Second buffs. World War was the Second <laughs> World War, <laughs> and during that time, um, <laughs> there was a very cool pact between Bro Stalin <laughs> and our main man Hits. <laughs> Our main man hits has got to be the worst attempt to try and get the Gen Z on board I've ever had. MMH! Yeah. <laughs> main man hits! He is the baddest motherfucker around. He, he is! He is! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this has been fun being on a show that's got one episode and then we'll be immediately cancelled. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, I know how to stab myself into the leg real properly. <laughs> Um, he got his leg blown off during Operation Barbarossa. Yeah, he was in a tank crew, and the Russian mined the road, and they just drove over the mine. And he draw the short straw, going outside and fixing the tank tracks. Oh, and there was shit. a sniper sitting there, and yeah, took his leg off. And they sent him back, and his company was actually the one one of those that got stuck in Stalingrad. Oh, so he shit. got. Super lucky. Yeah. He didn't have to eat ass. Yeah. Literal. Yeah. 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 Literal. Yeah. <laughs> Again, not a sex thing, Gen Z people. <laughs> they literally ate human asses there. Yeah. 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 Look it up. It, there's some good pictures out there. That's that's what Starvin will do to you. And it's always it's yeah. also it's the meatiest part of the body. Oh yeah. yeah. And it was cold enough that it was most of the time pretty good preserved. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you're that's gonna eat 
frozen ass. You don't want to get like strychnine or yeah. something like that. Like, like, like you, then you get maggots. You're like, oh, come on. <laughs> Maggoty ass. I already ate Francis' ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. that's not what my main man hits told me about <laughs> what's gonna happen oh, i believed dude. him yeah, he's yeah. very confident no but the the, the <laughs> so he he was a fervent fervent anti-fascist okay because obviously it cost him literally a, a leg yep. not an arm yep. and a leg but still yeah halfway close, there close enough yeah exactly he was still though super catholic so he was a Christian Democrat. Yeah. Also, the only way to get elected, really, there. Okay. Because, because rural Austria was always dominated by them. Yeah. Because Catholicism. Yep, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and yeah and and that's missing now. Like this this even like the right wing guys knowing like the the, the center to slight right wing guys knowing this is bad, you know. We have to do something against this constantly, otherwise it grows out of proportion. Yeah. But those are all now dead or have been replaced by younger guys. And with younger, I mean 50. Yeah. yeah you know? Yeah. And those guys were right smack dab in the education circle where we try to hide everything. Yeah. So for them, it's even less... like Because the generation afterwards is where we try to finally like push again, like, hey... The Nazis were really bad. Yeah, Here's yeah, yeah. all the evidence. Yeah. Just go check it out yourself. Like yeah. uh, basically, uh, like there's a there's a there's there's a school trip you have to take basically when you go to public school here to a concentration center. Oh yeah, you have to like look at all that shit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I mean, the, the the reason that that's a good thing I think, and especially in Austria and Germany, is because in the UK, like you said, we got ne neoliberalism thirty years early. Yeah, and like our government now, because labor fucked it up yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, our government our government now is 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 not just going like uh it's, it's it's actually we don't have as many we do have nazis but we don't have as many nazis but we've certainly got racists you know like nationalists yes definitely yeah. like and um the government now is pandering to them when mm. david cameron announced the brexit vote it was to try and appease those people somehow they won and then now again still the most insane thing it, ever it was it was i think genuinely like the reason i think that it was he, he obviously thought it was going to be great but the the thing is is that as a society it's like scotland had a, a, a referendum a little while ago for independence right and a, a lot of people that i know voted yes there were some people who obviously fervently believed that they wanted an independent scotland they voted yes because that was their their main goal mm -hmm. um somebody like my mum who has always been sort of like a democratic socialist type person she's always voted labor yeah she voted yes because she was confident that it was going to be a no vote but she wanted to like give two fingers to like the authorities like right right like, right right right. Like, oh, so there, it was also like a weird protest vote especially yes. and i think ah, that sucks and i think because because uh, england yeah hadn't had an, a, a referendum since the 1970s on anything like wow, this. Wow, that's yes. crazy. So I think... Even we do it more often yeah, than that. I think that a, a lot of people, confident in the fact that Can it was going to Can the population trigger that one as well? Um, like if they're, if you collect like, let's say a million votes or something no, like that? No, no, What? No, no. Because that's a thing here. If, yeah, you, no, if you have 250,000 votes, yeah. uh, uh, signatures, you can trigger... No, we don't have any. Sort of, we don't have direct wow. enough to say that. But you can, you can, you can, if you get 100,000 signatures on a petition, yeah. then you can get it debated in parliament. But only, some, Whoop the fucking but, on, but only some of those are picked up on. It's not a guarantee. And so I think a lot... That's of, not even... That's then, that's not a law. That's that, just a, a thing we might do sometimes if we is, feel like this, it. This is the thing. Like, especially some European countries, especially some of like the, the Central and Eastern European countries, mm. when, they, when they got rid of communism and they were able to like build a, par a parliamentary yeah. democracy from the ground up, right. they came up with a lot of good ideas. Yeah. Everything in the UK, we have literally had to grab from the like the aristocracy <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and like pull it as hard as we can yeah so there's i mean for for we call it we're not but we call ourselves like the home of the first home of democracy iceland is but like they had the first Iceland, greece also no, i know yeah, yeah but I, iceland had the first <laughs> true, parliament that yes, is, that is yes, still yes. in effect real representative democracy but, yeah. but it's, it's the same as we we're just talking about with historical revisionism yeah like in britain there's a massive portion of people who i think went we're going to vote to leave the European Union as a fuck you and then watched in horror the next day. And 
I mean, even if oh, it, that's so funny though. That's I, uh, that's that's like somebody who I don't know. That's like a Japanese guy doing seppuku and then still knowing that he lived the next day yeah, yeah, and yeah, like yeah, yeah. oh my guts are out now yeah yeah, yeah. great he, he does it and then they, they yeah. the, 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 the counter-attack succeeds yeah 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 <laughs> and you're like oh come <laughs> on really yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no dude i mean like that was my plan if if, 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 if i think i think i remember remember rightly but there's been internal polling done recently mm -hmm. and now 70 percent of people don't want brexit to happen <laughs> and it is but and it is happening on the 31st of December. I know, I know. And, and that's why Boris is like pushing for a no deal now. Oh, I mean, we're, we've gone. It's hilarious how, how much he is like a small kid that like tries to understand international politics he's, and tacticians. He's like a kid who's got his dad's gun. That's what that like. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah, dude, like, he, we, we're about yeah. to, we're about to break international law. We're about to, like, I have Northern Irish and Republic of Ireland I friends. mean, breaking international law never stopped Britain. I know. That is, <laughs> that is, that is true. But, but we are doing it now in terms of, like, the multi, multi multimedia age, news reporting yeah, everywhere. and you're fucking with money. Yes. That's the big Dude. thing. And you're so fucking with money. He's like a kid who's got his dad's gun. Um, we're going to break international law. Yeah. I'm, Irish friends that I have, both, both Northern and Republic, are confident that Ireland is going to be a unified nation very soon. That Awesome. And I like so last time around in the independence referendum, yeah. I'm an I'm an international democratic socialist. Mm -hmm. I believe in all of working class people sticking together and yes. fighting the actual powers that be. Yeah, but I let's take the middle class in there as well. Just just yeah. just the, because everybody should be middle class. It's like we it's like we said the there other day. There should be not socialist, a lower class. Socialists are not coming for doctor and lawyer money. Yeah, exactly. We're coming for nesting doll yacht. Money. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? We're yeah, coming yeah. for a fleet of pli private yeah. jets. If you if you have a secret hideout door in your in your villa where like a plane can take you off to another villa yeah that's when you have too much money yes yes <laughs> and so i voted no last time because i because i didn't want particularly scotland's always voted very very left wing and i didn't want people who are in the exact same situation as me in england or wales or northern ireland to suffer if we left which right. is sort of some of my Scottish friends got very annoyed at me about this. They were like, but we could have it so much better. And I was like, yes, but we've all got to stick together. It's solidarity, class, class consciousness, yeah, all this yeah, type yeah. of stuff. Um, and it then yeah. the Tories got in again. Right. And Brexit happened. Yeah. And now, if, if and when, because I'm confident Scotland will get another independence referendum, Boris Johnson has said we can't have one. <laughs> and if there, is, if there is one way... To unite the entire Scottish populace, it's saying, telling them no. It's an Eng a posh Englishman, Who's telling too, right? Telling them that they cannot do something. Yeah, yeah. It's like so. I believe fervently that within the next five years, Scotland will be independent and we'll try to we'll try to rejoin the EU. That would be fun, though. Like I, I, I honestly, first of all, Scotland Euros gonna be amazing. Yep, yep. Gonna have a haggis on the coin <laughs> and all that shit, you know? Like that I'm looking forward to yeah, that yeah. stuff. Because it's the most generic stuff. We I mean, have we have fucking flowers on ours. It's just, we have the we have the Alpine like fucking Edelweiss, yeah, you know, yeah. on ours. And I'm like, yeah, I've seen that thing like once in my life. <laughs> Put a schnitzel on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Put I something mean, that actual people actually do in Austria. I guarantee. I guarantee you. Like the the irony is right. The the conservatives are technically called the Conservatives and Unionist Party. Right? <laughs> in, that's a and, that's a that's a lie. Yeah, and it's just straight up a lie. And they have they will over they will. Can you sue them for false advertising? By trying, <laughs> by trying to appease a gr b bunch of racist nationalists, mm -hmm. they are going to destroy the union. But what? Horrific. Okay, so, so we talked about the money. But if Scotland would secede, mm -hmm. first of all, probably not a civil war because if it seceded, we'll immediately join the EU. I'm guessing, right? Yeah, well, we, we would certainly try. And the EU have and said the that they EU would be open would to it. Also, Britain can't pick a can pick a fight with Scotland, but it can't pick a fight with Europe. Yeah, yeah. That's that's just a no, no. There's, yeah. there's, you're literally surrounded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Britain, you are surrounded. Yeah. Come I mean, out with your hands in the air. Even in even in Wales, even yeah. in Wales, which has only got about two million people, right. and they voted to leave mm -hmm. uh, again. I think for the same reasons. I think it was like a fuck you. The day after that, Cornwall and Wales wrote to the English uh, to the Westminster Parliament and said, "Well, we still get the same funding and things like that the EU gave us." Right. And Westminster told them to go and fuck. <laughs> and so even in, even in Wales. <laughs> But who builds our highways now? Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> dude, even in Wales, like the number of votes for the the Welsh 
uh, like independence group is, yeah. is is steadily climbing. If the wow. U- if the UK exists, as and an those entity, are all are those nationalist movements or are those more like socialists? So what 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 what, what are what are, what are because independence movements always have like a like a like a faltering point well, where it, where it either becomes like a true movement that includes everybody. Or it becomes super fascist. <laughs> so this is the thing. Um, so the the one in Scotland, for example, the SNP, the Scottish yeah. National Party, they claim what's the word they use? It's like uh, it's like in- inclusive nationalism. Like they don't like 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 because ah, okay. because na- the word nationalism as as a socialist that yeah yeah that, super that, bad yes yeah that, that I don't like it I don't yeah. like it. Um, but in 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 Scotland we've got this sort of very like open attitude it's a very left-wing country right the interesting thing about the scottish national party and the scottish parliament uh, is that they they're sort of middle of the road you know like because mm. centrists yeah, yeah yeah because they've got they've i'll got, take a centrist over <laughs> yeah over the worst because you've got ones. you've got ex- like left-wing elements who want independent scotland you've got centrists who want independent mm. scotland you've got right-wing elements who want independent ah, scotland okay. and, and and but so it's so it's not a an ethnic nationalism yeah. We had a, a thing a couple of years ago, just before the referendum. It was called the homecoming, mm-hmm. and they they said to people who have Scot who have Scottish ancestry uh, to to come back to Scotland, and we're all going to have a big party together. And it was actually quite nice. You had like Sikh guys walking down, and they had like the turbans with oh, the, that's the, awesome. the Scottish flags on. Them that's and, like, so cool, dude. It, it, it was it's Scottish it's, Sikhs is now my favorite new thing. Yeah, I I just imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the Bombay Tali with haggis. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you're not even that far off. In, in Glasgow, there's some Indian restaurants you can go and you can get haggis pakora. I oh, shit, that's I shit, amazing! I shit you not. Oh, I that's so you cool. Not. That's yeah. so fucking cool. So like, it's trying. It tries to be um, like inclusive. Yeah. It's not. It's not like blood and soil nationalism. Mm-hmm. Um, which which I like. Don't get me wrong. Scotland still has some problems with racism, and it has some problems, particularly with uh, in Glasgow, with um, like factionalism, religious wise, when it comes right. to Catholics and Protestants. Right, right, right. Old school stuff. Yes, yeah, but yeah. that's like that goes all the way back. Mm-hmm. Um, but I so this time I would I would vote vote yes. Everyone that I know, including my friends who voted no last time, uh, most of them would vote yes. And even somebody like right. my my uh, like some, some people in my family who I knew voted last la, no last time. Have changed our tune. Yeah, um, it's it's quite miraculous the turnaround that's happened. Like I, I no, it's fantastic though. Yeah, that's fantastic. But again, then we have the hypothetical that you're gonna join the EU. Well, the EU and, and Commission and have just, said they're open to it. Hmm? The EU Commission have said they're open to yeah, it. Yeah, no, it makes total sense. Yeah. We want all that fucking oil that you have. Yep, yep. <laughs> oil, fish, whiskey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We want we want all of those three. Those are like li- literally the three best things about Great Britain <laughs> in general. <laughs> I guess cheddar cheese is somewhere in there as well. Because that was the only thing right after Brexit that I really loved about Brexit was che- cheese from, from Britain got incredibly cheap. What? Like they chucked, literally chucked cheddar cheese like nine year, nine month, 12 month, like the expensive shit, you know? They, they're like, oh, it's like six euros do a kilogram know, now. Do, do you know why they did that? Because we because we are leaving Europe, so there's a thing in in the European the dairy subvent- uh, subvention no, or whatever they call the subsidies. The, no, it's the yeah. thing in the European Parliament where if you have so you know how champagne is only champagne if it comes from the champagne. Right, 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 right. France. Yeah, yeah. There's a thing in EU law that protects that. Right. You can only call it champagne if it's from that region. Yeah, yeah. Same with, for example, Yorkshire pasties and cheddar cheese ah. and Scotch whiskey. Right, right. We are leaving, so now those things no longer apply. So uh, anybody any, can make cheddar anybody cheese. can make cheddar cheese and call it right like cheddar cheese right you know what I mean anybody can make that's why it was Newcastle cheddar cheese I'm guessing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like we are losing all of that sort of like copyright type stuff like it's gone oh that's amazing yeah that's amazing that's really good yeah <laughs> fuck the British economy <laughs> no if it if it if it takes that much pain to maybe realize last minute that it's a bad idea yeah better be it i mean and again but but what if if scotland joins the eu what would be the like the first three things you you would be looking forward to like what 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 are you looking forward to like what is the eu doing to you (laughs) you know because i guess you would also get a new constitution Uh, we would have to i mean we have a scottish parliament but we would need to be rewritten to 
to completely decouple it from Westminster because right. we get a lot of our powers through the ah, Westminster it's, Parliament. It's l- handed down basically. Yes, yes, yes. So we would have to we'd have to do that. I'd be looking forward to um, obviously freedom of movement is a massive one. Being able to yeah. like, travel and and uh, and see the rest of that Europe. That airplane ride is going to be awesome. Just over Britain and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> fucking a lot of these, um, <laughs> That the airlines like put it like that. You like hit all major cities yeah. like. I mean, not fuck you, Hal. On a, fuck you, Hal. <laughs> on, a, on a serious note, the, yeah. being part of the European Convention on Human Rights. That's a sweet ass thing, yeah. yeah. The amount of times that Westminster, Her- especially the Conservative government, has tried to pass things that are blatantly al- contradictory, al- so that, al- yep. illegal, and then have been overridden by the EU Court on Human Rights mm-hmm. um, is astounding. Yeah. We, are, we are the country that has been pulled up the most about that. <laughs> It, it's partly no that just means you got caught the most it, no, no, no 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 that means you got caught the most there's definitely another country that does more shit oh no definitely, definitely. but they are smart at hiding it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i mean we get we you're got, just incompetent th- enough to that fuck was, it up that was, that was one of the main reasons that people that people that they were like we want to make our own laws and yeah. it's like you realize you people that are saying like we want you know our own sovereignty back like these are going to be laws which negatively affect you right so, right what are you looking forward to oh yes yeah, so the uh, last thing freedom of movement um being uh, able to have like human rights uh, human rights yep. would be nice yeah and i i think Sc- so scottish members of the eu parliament yes that so would be hilarious well i don't know if I do, those exist yeah, i think yeah, yeah. I, I actually i actually don't know it was it was quite a how did i, how did I rest? it was quite a poignant moment right mm. when cuz i've always considered myself scottish british european a human being on planet Earth, right? right? In that in that order, Scottish mm-hmm. first, um, and wake, waking up and seeing that the Brexit vote had gone through, it, I, I felt this sudden sense of loss for something because I'd I'd done yeah. some traveling around Europe a little bit, but all of a sudden this whole avenue that I, you'd always just assumed was going to be there was gone, mm. and I I realized on that day it's a watershed moment yeah, truly yeah, right yeah. yeah i realized on that day that i cared more about being european <laughs> i mean there are so many benefits yeah. to being european i mean don't get me wrong there have been some aspects of of britain or scotland being in britain that i will miss you know like right. that have made life especially in scotland better but on the other hand there have been the way we've been treated for a long time was not good you know, and even it, it you mean re- the British people? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 The the re- recent history is replete with examples of this. Yeah, um, and since the Thatcher years, this whole idea of like the in- individualism, like you know, like there's she said, there's no such thing as community. There's only men, women, and families, right? And <gasps> that, yeah, <sighs> that is writ large. I mean, Thatcher. Like every time somebody like tells me something like this, I'm like. A person can't be that evil, and then I'm 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 an Austrian, so I'm like, oh yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, definitely, they, they definitely, they easy, easy. That's that's easy mode, you know. I mean, I swear, just being not a human being. I swear to God, very easy. <laughs> so Thatcher Thatcher introduced a thing called the poll tax in Scotland. Okay, one year before she introduced it in England, we were used as like a guinea pig for oh, it, and fuck. we rioted, we burned stuff down, and all that sort of stuff, and yeah. they they and they did it anyway, and then they introduced it in England, and they rioted and burned stuff down, and all of a sudden it was gone. Like since that point, because Scotland, mm. Scotland had had in the yeah. olden days, Scotland was quite religious, and the Conservatives used to be called the Tory, pu- the uh, the Church of England at prayer, right? Like, like, <laughs> I, no, I, I swear to God, I, the, the, sorry, the Tory Party at prayer. Oh, that's that was that's the Church of England. So funny because it was like you know small C conservative yeah. values, right? Right, 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 right. Like, like the Christian Democrats. I'm yeah, imagining. they loved their main man G's. Yes, yeah, and and at, and so from the 1950s, Scotland voted Tory. You know. And then in the Thatcher years, all that sort of stuff happened, and it was like a, a sudden. I'm guessing sh- also the mining industry got hit harder over yeah, there. Yep, yeah, the shipbuilding, all that sort of stuff disappeared, right. disappeared overnight. Right, because uh, it all moved to Asia and stuff. Yep. Yeah, during during the Second World War, a third of all of the ships in the British fleet were built on the Clyde. Mm-hmm. A third of them. Yeah. And uh, you made some amazing ships yeah. for the British fleet. And th- and like, the thanks you get for it are basically non-existent. Yeah. yeah. It's. It's it's actually maddening. <laughs> and so and so this whole idea of like community. Scotland's a, sc- a small nation. It's always mm. been very co- co- close knit. That vanished, and now people are wondering why is this all falling apart? And it's like because no one owes anything. People don't feel like they owe anything. To yeah, each you. Other. Had, I think the best thing, like I always thought about it, was like if you if you take the Roman Empire, yeah, 
Scotland is like something like Sicily or mm. something like that. Like you are part of the empire, you have the status of a Roman citizen. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. I mean, it's. Do you get funding? Eh, sort of. Yeah. Do you get a military? Eh, sort of. Most of the most of the. I mean, it's, it, it was actually quite sad. The day that after, day after the Brexit vote, I was on my way to work. Mm. And just along the waterfront in Glasgow, which is where all the ship shipbuilding used to be, yeah, there, I, there is, there was nothing for many years. It right. was just like waste ground, <laughs> and now it's like desolate, uh, yeah. like a like a like a like a post-apocalypse yes, yeah, kind, like, like kind of scenario. We, we joke, but yeah, wow. <laughs> and now it's. Oh, like, I have always this image of Scotland being dreary. I guess it's from stuff like this. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's and, actually dreary. Yeah, I mean, they used to say you used to be able to cross the Clyde just by jumping from ship to ship to ship. Like you could, oh, you could that's do awesome, that. Yeah. Um, and now you walk along there. It's now the business district. So it's got like little cafes and like all this sort of stuff. Waterfront property. Waterfront, all that sort of stuff. But all the way along, it's like this has this received funding from the European Union. There's the flag. Yeah. This received funding from the European Union. Right. There's a bridge. This received funding from the European Union. Yeah. This because for the longest time, Scotland was like the can that got kicked down the road. Yeah. And it, it, it even <laughs> the, like I'm guessing you also got uh, level two funding. Like infrastructure funding of the EU because it has like a two, yeah, a three tier yeah. system. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't get funding, you get a little bit of funding, and you get massive amounts of we, money. We got, we got quite a lot because yeah. Scotland was really, really underdeveloped considering. Yeah. Same, same with Burgenland in Austria. Yeah. Burgenland was the only the part that's right next to Hungary. Yeah. It's the only part that got level two funding yeah. when we joined. Everybody else is like, no, you are doing so yeah. well, guys. I'm sorry, I mean, you're not getting cash. The, the, but Burgenland, those poor wine, wine farmers, oh, you, they're gonna get. The nicest roads ever. <laughs> the irony is, the irony is, I remember as a sort of like a thing before the EU referendum, they, David Cameron announced that they were going to build a high-speed rail, HS2 it was called, and they were going to build a high-speed rail that would join up the whole of the UK, oh, right? And That sounds like a wet dream of a socialist. They built it Ooh. from, well, they're building it from London uh -huh. to Newcastle. So... To join up the whole of the UK. <laughs> How much is it? How, that's like what? We are not that's going like to... That's like 350 kilometers yeah, we are of not, track? Yeah, we are not going to go to Scotland. That's insane. It's so like... This Why is, even build a high-speed track yeah, then? Yeah. Because uh, they, they Make actually, it like the French. They actually said you can go from Edinburgh to London in like two hours or something. And let me guess, they also let that thing run not with the normal companies that do the normal lines. That's its own company, I'm guessing. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can embezzle more money, right? Exactly. <sighs> they are geniuses. The, like, <laughs> the, the British have been doing this for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that, is a, that is a very, very smart move. So I'll be, I'll be pleased to have freedom of movement. I'll be yep. pleased to have uh, human rights. And just to know that you are part of a community of nations that have... Actually give a shit? Yeah. That have, <laughs> that have some it's, it sounds horrible but England is slowly turning into like a shite America you know like that sort of brand of politics you're already fatter than them so yeah that sort of brand of politics has been brought over here by a lot of shady fucking like think tanks and stuff like that where mm -hmm. you know no one knows where their money's coming from yeah. and you know if you dig a little bit deeper it's it's it's, it's big, always a gross old white <laughs> yeah it's, it's big it's big tobacco or it's big oil or it's, it's one of these ones yeah and it's Britain has always been a shit America you know, like in terms of politics, yeah, yeah. like in the in recent years, yeah, Reagan, Reagan and Thatcher, it was like that. Whole oh, thing. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, they, I I see them only like a like as a um, a symptom of the disease. Yeah, yeah. They're definitely not what's completely wrong with everything. Yeah. They're just the direct expression that we see of yeah. it, and it's, system, it's systematic way of thinking that people have nowadays. And it's it's a shame because, like. We're talking about historical revisionism. People in the UK do not know anything about the empire. Like we don't. You walk past. You walk past all these yeah. these statues of people, and you have no idea what they did, and you have no and idea. There's no extra plaque on it that tells no. you, oh, he did those war no. crimes. No. no, because that's what, is, that's a discussion in Austria now. There is literally there is literally one outside the. So there's a thing called the People's Palace in Glasgow, which mm -hmm. is actually it was built by the socialists when they run the when they ran the city government, and it's a celebration of working class people in. Scotland, right? It's a big museum, mm -hmm. and outside of that museum, because it was built in like sort of uh, Victorian times, I think. And outside of that museum is the largest terracotta uh, fountain in the world, and it right. it is supposed to celebrate the working people of what was then the empire. Mm -hmm. And I shit you not, my friend, it has Queen Victoria on the top. <laughs> already, already. Oh, 
Wait, okay, go on, yeah. go on. Go Queen, on. Vi- Queen Victoria on the top. Yeah. Underneath that, yeah. you have um, Australia, UK, New Zealand, and Canada. Like uh-huh. people, people from there and like white people. And they're sort of like traditional Canada's got the bear hats and stuff like that. Sure, and sure, sure. The women, Trappers and women, stuff like yeah, that. Women with the, the, women with yep. the things. The, the Scottish guy's got a big hammer. And then underneath that, you have India and South Africa. <laughs> Pakistan. And Pakistan. That and kind of shit. Yeah. Yes. And they're all also white people. It is, it's, How do you do that on the, terracotta? The natives have literally been... Whitewashed. Yeah. Also, also, is that where they got the idea of trickle down economics? Yeah. <laughs> it's literally a giant. I mean, yeah, it's a giant representation uh, un- unless, of trickle down. Unless, unless the the, the 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 I assume socialist architect who designed that thought like this is going to be a giant metaphor. <laughs> 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 and literally, the world's biggest one. Oh my god, this is amazing. Um, yeah, Grant, it has been a pleasure. Thank you for having me on, man. Thank you for for being here. This has been episode one of Paul's Palava Paradise. You obviously have your own shit. Please, please, please do your plugs, bro. So I have a podcast you can check out called Making Europe Grants Again, which uh, Paul has been on along with a bunch of other funny comedians. You can find that on Spotify or iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. I also host other YouTube videos for a channel called Visual Politic, where we talk about politics and world news. Um, and you can find me on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter at the Granty Christ, like the Antichrist, but with the GR in front of it. Yeah, a good pun to end Thank this you very show. Much. Thank you. This has been it. Goodbye now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most Austrian ending I've ever seen in my entire life. This is done. The fun is over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has been your, your, your weekly input of, of, of fun, fun times. This was the designated fun times. They yeah. are now over. The video has concluded. <laughs> Back to work. <laughs>